Hi guys, my name is Timmy Tonkopalade Akimbode and this is my business partner and confident sister, Diche Enua. Hi everybody. If you're joining us for the first time, follow us on all of our social media handles and definitely, yes, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Yes, um, turn on your notifications so you don't ever miss any of our videos. Okay, so let's get right into it. This is the behind the story of Fine Wine. wine. <laughs> ah, sir. I'm going to assume for the benefit of the both of us that you're making an error of judgment thinking that I clearly am somebody that I am not. So, in another couple of minutes, someone is going to be seated on that chair and that person is not you. So, I will do the both of us a favor. I'll be going to the bathroom. By the time I get back, I don't want to see you on that chair. Fine Wine is one of the stories that's really dear to our hearts. One is. of the films that are really dear to our heart because it was just a little train that could, you know how <laughs> something that you never imagined. Yeah. It, it started as a really st small story, story, yes, and then it became this force to be reckoned with. Like the reviews were crazy. Crazy. We had crazy. so many messages. I had people who would send messages and I'm say, "Talking us, where is the part two? <laughs> <laughs> part yeah, two. No, but even apart from the part two, you know, you had people who who sent messages, messages and say, "Thank you for telling my, my story." story. And you know, yeah. she said she watched it and she had tears in her eyes yeah. and she kept asking, do these people know me? This is my story and all that. I was like, yeah, oh, oh. But, that, but that's the beauty about art. I mean, art imitates life. Yeah. You know? So you, even though it might seem like, is this really possible? If you, if you look well, you find someone that can relate to that. Thing. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah, because, you know, it was also very interesting because for, um, the, the story or the premise, when we had it, mm. we actually pitched it to quite a number of people. We did. And they didn't want it yeah they didn't want it and to be honest we knew that it wasn't quite right like there was something that just hadn't clicked, clicked yeah yes. and we always have that feeling we know yes we usually know we, we it. usually know <laughs> you know even if we keep going we're yes. like yeah, never jail. <laughs> <Never laughs> <laughs> so let's start from the genesis okay. i mean how did we come about i know you and i don't agree. Yes, we don't agree on how that story starts. <laughs> but I want to tell my version. Oh, yeah, my version, version is the real version. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so, fine wine came from a song. Mm. So, I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> but okay. But okay, I'll, I'll tell you my end. I should tell you that. And then I'll tell you our own fake story. <laughs> so, the real story, not the fake one that I'm going to tell you after this. <laughs> okay. The real story is that fine wine came from a song. And the song is Luther Vandross' song, Apologize. Mm. You know, if you haven't heard it, you can check it out. I had that album when I was in university, and I loved that album. It's the same album, I think, that has Dance With My Father. Dance With My Father. Mm -hmm. So the song was him, you know, apologizing in co for being rich. It was like he was in love with a girl who, was in, who had a boyfriend, mm. and he was richer and I think older okay. than the boyfriend. And it was a case of... Why everybody kept telling her that oh because he's rich mm. he just wants to use you um, there was something he said about the deeper the pockets the more shallow the heart mm. that they were telling her all sorts of things and you know the guy was you know also telling her lies about him and I was like I cannot I walked I out with my money it. nobody gave it to me that's actually a line in the song he said oh. I walked out with my money nobody gave it to me so I'm not going to apologize for being rich just because I can buy you nice things take you on fancy rides. Ah, it's just what money brings. I cannot keep myself, you know? And so I really, really like that song. Maybe I was... I had one Prince Charming in That's my head. That's why you think that it came from that song. Okay, mm. so let me tell you the fake yes, story. Yes, let me tell you. No, let me tell you my, the real story. <laughs> the real, real story. So, um, one of the processes that we go through is that we just think up of, okay, premise or an idea. Like, ah, this would be good for a story or let's come up with something. And then I think we discuss the story. Like, ah, what if we had a guy who's rich? And then just from being rich, you know, then he has this girl, you know, we, we, we just put some things together. And then Ditchie told me, I'm like, oh, this song, this film or this story re reminds me of this song. And I was like, oh, what song is that? I don't know this song. Like, okay, go and listen to the song and then let's, you know, fine tune the story, which was what happened. So I listened to the song. Duh. <laughs> I listened to the song and then we came back and like, okay, I think I like it. Okay, let's fine tune the story. And then we fine tune the story. And at that time, I think we called it Sorry, I'm, I'm rich. rich. Sorry, I'm Rich. Yes. That's, that's the title. Yes, and that's it. the title. I think also, that's the title we're pitching it with. So maybe yeah. that was also an issue. It was, you know, it was so we, yeah, it was initially called Sorry, I'm Rich. Yeah. And it was just basically trying to um, 
discount the whole idea that once you're in love with a, an older and richer man, then it's a sugar daddy situation. Yes. Because, no, 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 no. At that time, no. Mm -hmm. The story was that just because you were, because, no, it was not, it was not an older man. Okay. Because the initial story, the story I'm rich story was a oh, yeah, young yeah, guy yeah. who's just rich mm -hmm. and was trying to woo a, yeah. a, another young lady and then, you know, she was already, she was already engaged. Guy, and then he had a dad who was always advising mm -hmm. him, that kind of thing. Yeah, okay. But then one day, out of the blues, we got a call from Shea Babatokwe. Mm -hmm. And anybody that knows us already knows that she is like a... She is like a... <laughs> right as in... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... We got a call from him and it was like, um, my darlings, which is how he always refers to us, or my mummies. <laughs> and they're like, oh, my darlings, um, I got a call from so so person. Who, who did he say you got a call from? Was it? I can't remember. I can't remember. He just said, you know, yeah, he just got called a call and they, they got a call yeah. and they needed something small. Yes. That they want to, no, he said it was RMD. He said it was RMD that he wants to do something not too, you know, yeah, just something major, small, just something yeah. small that, you know, he hadn't done something in a while, wow. that kind of thing. Like, okay, no problem. We'll think up of something and we'll get back to you. And then after the conversation, which was a three-way phone call, mm -hmm. after that conversation, I think I was just in, in the room in my office and at home. And then I just thought, mm, wait a minute, what if, what if, I don't know where the idea came from. I believe it was inspired the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, yes. you know. And then I just thought, okay, what if it's an older guy? an older person who's in love with a young girl because the trope is that if you are a young girl in love with an older guy, then you're automatically an aristo. Yes. If you don't know what that means, it will be interpreted. That's like Nigerian <laughs> English, you know? And then, like, what if the, these two people are really in love? So I called Dichie and then I spoke to Dichie. Dichie was like, okay, share the idea with Shay. Send him a voice note. Let's hear what he will say. And then we shared the idea with him. We're like, okay, that's cool. Let's see how that goes. And then the channel was like, okay, let's talk about that. And we just realized, wait a minute. Sorry, I'm rich. Yeah. He's exactly. like, yeah. Yes. Like, it, it kind of fits. fits. You just need to adjust. Adjust it a little. Yeah. Yeah, so we went back and we adjusted. So that, you know, nothing wastes. I always said, none of our stories no. waste. We always find a way <laughs> to make you any story, any yes. idea. Because we believe that our stories are Holy Spirit inspired. Yeah. And there's nothing that God does that is a waste. So if we have yeah. a story and it feels like it's not getting, you know, nobody like, you know, people, because people reach out and say, oh, do you guys have something? Yeah. And then we send them that. They're like, no, do you have something else? else? And then when we send something else, they take that one instead. Yeah. I realize they like this one. It will not it's a, waste. It won't waste. It won't waste. <laughs> and so when she finally, you know, said, oh, maybe you should be an older guy. Since it was RMD that had reached out. Yes. And then we wanted, it to, wanted him to fit into, into the, the story. story. So we're like, okay, let's take a look at it again. And immediately, it just, yes. Ay, ay, it ay. just <laughs> it just <laughs> The story practically wrote itself. It did. I mean, in a few days, it was yes. done. We sent in the treatment. They loved it. And in a few days. We, we sent in the whole, treatment. Mm -hmm. he, he, he had a meeting with us. Okay. Wait, yeah, 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 you had a yeah, meeting yeah, with us because car. Ames character. So the if you haven't watched it, I mean it's on Netflix, so check it out. But don't Am give, uh, give spoilers. No, I won't give. Okay. I won't, I, no, you know how we do now. <laughs> Ames character, because when we had that meeting, I think we wrote Ame in a certain way, and he suggested that Ames character should be played as you saw it in the yes, film, yes. you know, or as you see it, in, as you yeah. will see it in the film. Yeah. And then we're like, okay, that's cool. Like we we, we mm -hmm. thought that it was a great idea, yeah. and I think that was the only tweak that he did. And then afterwards. We wrote the script, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure we did a second draft. No, I don't. I, even if we did, it'd be really, really tiny edits. Yeah, I don't even think we did. I mean, it just. I can't remember. <laughs> Next thing, Shay just called us and said it's going to be produced by Nevada, yeah. ne Nevada Bridge, and that it was no longer going to be a small film that they were we taking into the, the cinema. cinema. Like, <laughs> Okay. Uh, this film? Yes, and you, like we just basically moved on. Yeah, we did. And when the movie came out, and, because, you know, even though we see these movies in the premiere, because they usually invite us for the yeah. premiere, we always like to sit in the crowd. Uh, and, yeah. you know, so we'll still pay to go and watch, watch it. it. Like, in every now and just sit in the crowd and just, you know, get, because at premiere, yeah, everybody's happy, everybody likes you. Yeah, everybody, everybody likes you. Nobody's giving nobody, you Yes, you know, people got dressed <laughs> up, they're happy, they're taking pictures. You dare not come and tell me my thing is nice. <laughs> You know, you're probably giving them gift boxes. Uh -huh. Everybody's going to tell your film is nice. So to get the real feedback, we usually go to the, the cinema, cinema, pay, sit down, popcorn, drink. I'm like, okay, let's see. This. And I remember that you you watched it because you were in Portakota. Yes, I was in Portakota at the time. No, so show your experience. Yes, I'm now. glad I'm getting there. <laughs> so, so you know, um, I was in the cinema because I, I didn't make it for the premiere. I wasn't yeah. around. I was in Portakota. So did you, um, talk about when, but they didn't show the whole thing. No, but I do. Like Mr. Neville just ah, uh, <laughs> and that was a very smart move. Actually. It was. So I went to sit in. I was sitting. I, I was watching. I went to watch with my husband. And 
it was like we were a, a, a family <laughs> that went together to watch this film. Come and see talking. See, so, that if you make noise, people just go, shh, shh. We're like, did that girl? No, that man. No, eh, it's not because that man is. No, you too. You too. And everybody was talking, talking. we were laughing, we were clapping. <laughs> All the guys wanted to be shared. Yeah. All yeah. the girls wanted to be kind, man. Yeah. Everybody wanted their own rich bobo. Yes, yeah, so. and you know, people were, you could physically see them rooting for true, rooting for her, rooting mm -hmm. for you know. I, it was just so engaging, and my husband kept looking at me like, "Wow, you guys obviously <laughs> did an amazing job." And so there were big, there were like three girls behind me. They were mm -hmm. really vocal, mm -hmm. hey, talking. I don't. Know, Hey, this guy is a good girl. Because if it's me, I would do that, I would that. And so when I got into the bathroom, I was in, I was in one of the toilets, and they were still, they talking, were still <laughs> talking about the film. As they were doing their mm. makeup, they were still talking. No, 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 if not me, no, no. So I came out and I said, oh, by the way, I was one of the writers of the film. Oh, my. Like, I thought they were going to carry me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were going to carry me. They like, are you serious? They started taking pictures. And... You know, just kept on saying, you guys did an amazing job, you guys did an amazing job. And it was really very surreal because, yeah. you know, sometimes you're in your house, you'll be able sitting on your bed, in your pajamas, your <laughs> hair <laughs> scattered, and you're just writing one yeah. thing, and you don't know how drinking far cereal, go. and just and you don't have no idea yeah. how far the story will go and how many people it will touch. Yeah. <laughs> I think when I went to watch it at the cinema, I went to watch it with my husband too and uh, a family friend, mm -hmm. a couple. And I remember the guy, the, it was only that day, he was with his wife, he just kept talking. He said, hey, when am I going to be this shit, hey, George? <laughs> <laughs> when am I going to be this shit, hey, George? And I was just laughing. Yeah, it was really, really engaging. Yeah, I think that, you know, it, you, because there was something for the guys to look up to. So it wasn't just yeah. a chick flick where the girls were just, the guys were watching to like, oh, it was I'm aspirational. Learning. It was aspirational. It like, was aspirational. we can be this guy. I can be, I can have this much money and I don't have to be a jerk. And, exactly. I can still be a gentleman. Yeah. I can still love a woman, right? Plus, I mean, you can't take it away. R&B brings some class. I'm telling you, I'm, so that's another thing. You know, watching it, I felt like R&B brought this extra boyish charm. Yeah, it, it did. wasn't in the script. It wasn't. Yes, it was some kind of subtext that he brought out. Like, you know, the way he was always Boy, looking at Kaima and that smile. Yeah. Hey, girls, just be dying. Like, they're not looking at you, man. <laughs> it's not about oh you, man. You know, so yeah. yeah, it was really, it was really, it was really amazing, cool. It really was. cool. And then it went on Netflix, and everybody just went, went wild. <laughs> like, oh my God, Brian White. Brian White, everywhere in the church, yeah. everywhere people kept stopping me. I heard you guys did fine wine. It was amazing. It was this. I was like, ah, ah. I had to go and watch it again. You know, yeah. I, I, I did too, yes. quite a number of times. Yes, I have those things. Like when people praise, praise, I'm like, hey. What did we do? What was inside yeah. this thing? I need, maybe we can replicate it. Yeah. You know, so we just go back. And you watch again. And I have like, a theory though. Okay. And my theory is I think that the boyish charm mm -hmm. that I remember brought to mm -hmm. it, and the fact that um, Ego, Ego, that's yeah. Kaima, you know, she's a fresh face. Yes. We don't really know her. We don't really know anything about her. Yeah. She's not all over the gram. Like so she was just Kaima. Yeah, she was just Kaima. It yeah. was fresh. And I think that that made it realistic. realistic. You could believe that this is their life. Yeah. Like, I ah, know. And I'm sure people were asking them in real life for that yeah, debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because chemistry was crazy. It was. It was, it was crazy. Was, it was, it was good casting. Yes. It was, <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's every writer's dream. But yeah. when you write something, you know, the producers and the directors will do an amazing job we'll of casting it, right? Yes. Yeah, God has yeah. been faithful, actually. It's not luck. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. Okay, true. Some writers. okay, true, true. <laughs> you know, God I has agree. been faithful. I agree. That, agree. You know, somehow, our scripts get into the hands of people yeah. who want to do it well. Well. Yeah, who, who want to bring in the same amount of excellence that we put on the script. Sure. It's always yeah. amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe, to get yep, your yep, notifications, yep. comment, like, share. And we'll be doing a lot more of this. Yes, and you know, if there, if there are things you want us to talk about, you can drop that in the comment section. Or send us a DM on Instagram. Yeah, and you know, we'll get to it. All right, in the meantime, take care of yourself. Bye. Bye.